I learned how to rule to travel every day. So many struggles that you're facing. But you're gonna get through it anyway. Cause you just smile, you go on places. You keep down to the ground and you're hurt and I hope it's gone. Never ever give up, no you can't. Dust yourself off and get up again, get up again. Cause when the time comes and you're standing before your Lord, that's the only time that you truly win. Cause you never gave up, never gave up. So get up again, get up again. Oh, excellent. Assalamu alaikum, this is Zain Bika. And I'm Vivek. For short, huh? For short. Oh, we from South Africa and you're watching SKTV UK. Stay tuned. A long hard road you travel every day So many struggles that you're facing But you're gonna get through it anyway Cause you just smile, you go in places Subhanallah, so I'm here in the UK I've been here for done this is the 10th show back to back And we partnered with Islamic Relief we Basically, the, the, even though I'm launching a new album, it's called Cotton Candy Sky, I'm also launching my very first song, called, for, for a popular song called Allah Made Everything. But more important than all of that, we partner with Islamic Relief to raise funds for the people of Myanmar. Um, we did a single called Dare to Believe late last year. If you dare to believe, one heart can heal another, one hand can lift this heart. And subhanAllah, it was, it was quite amazing that we, we wanted to raise awareness, even though there's so much media already, subhanAllah, about Myanmar. Um, but I don't think that people fully understand, of course, you know, the situation of how you know, this group of people, based on their, subhanAllah, their, their ethnicity, uh, is basically genocide. And the, the people heavily affected, of course, remaining behind, the women and children. So we're raising funds. We've been on this tour for, for the last nine days. And the community in the UK has been so uh, gracious, we've raised lots of money. And I think it will come in handy, especially Ramadan is coming up. It will be a, a way to, for the community to, to at least help others. And it also gives me a chance to sing my new songs and uh, inshallah launch the book. Well, there's a few. Firstly, you know, my good friend Vivek and I, we've been playing together. So him and I do a fun old song, which catches people by surprise. Uh, should I mention it? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> so you, you wait to see that. So, so him and I have some fun with that song. Um, it's, it's an old song. And then, of course, uh, you know, subhanAllah, not in any of the other shows, except this one in Leicester tonight, a good friend of mine who features in many of my videos, I won't tell you more, he'll be making a surprise for you. So check out for him in the middle of the show, inshallah. Excuse me, sir, that is not your song. I wouldn't say setbacks in my career because firstly this is not my full-time job. I mean I, I have a full-time job and this is just my hobby. I love to sing, I love to make songs, I love to write songs, I love to produce the songs and I love to sing it on stage especially for children and you know, people who, who know my songs and they're singing along. It's, it's really a thing, it's an amazing experience. Um, but I guess setbacks as a human being in terms of my growth, my evolution, I grew up in South Africa, I grew up in apartheid. Uh, then, of course, South Africa got its independence. Uh, Mandela became president. I've been through amazing things, lots of highs and lows. I've been in bad places in dark times, subhanAllah. And I think it reflects in my songs. The biggest advice I can give to young people is firstly, you know, just to, to, to have your eye on the prize. And that prize, subhanAllah, is that we have to make it to Jannah. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no other price. This life is short. We are going to be here. It's almost as if, you know, when we, when we pass away and we fall Allah, it will be as if we just walked in to this room from one end and walked out. Our life on this earth will seem so short. But when we stand before Allah, our deeds will count. And we have to make sure that we do enough while we are here in this short space of time with whatever Allah has given us to make a difference. That when we stand before Allah, Allah will show mercy on us and He will you know, take us to Jannah. 
and that's what we want. So that's the advice I would give. Whatever sphere you are, you know, um, whether you, uh, you know, volunteering today at this event, whether you are middle management, senior management, whether or in any sphere, even if you don't have money, young people have the biggest blessing that you can give is the most valuable is time. You can give of your time. And if you give of your time, volunteer, give of your time to subhanAllah, to others, for example, like people in uh, old age homes. Uh, give your time towards others, subhanAllah. You know, you can give of your time to many, many people, many, many projects. And uh, the last thing I want to tell, especially for young boys, I do a lot of workshops for young people, is to believe in themselves. Most young people struggle with it. You know? I think actually most older people struggle with it. You know, uh, tell yourself that you're good enough. And that sometimes we, we feel like we, we've done so much, we've made, straight, we've made mistakes, but never lose faith in the mercy of Allah. Actually, after associating partners with Allah, the biggest sin, subhanAllah, is losing faith in the mercy of Allah. So no matter how far you've gone, no matter how much wrong you think you've done, Allah is waiting, subhanAllah. Allah is waiting, calling you back home. So believe in yourselves, do whatever you can in the best of spheres, do it for the right reasons, inshallah, and uh, have faith in Allah. Well, you know, firstly, I guess I've been very, very blessed and honored that I have an audience. I know so many amazing, talented people who don't even have an audience. I've been blessed with, you know, people still want to listen. I mean, I've been, next year, I would have, since my very first cassette, it will be 25 years since I launched that cassette in 1994. And people till today, uh, I mean, on the strip, you know, young parents are coming to me and they say, SubhanAllah, we grew up on your songs, now our children are listening to your songs. So it's a huge blessing, it didn't come from me, everything good comes from Allah. So I'm very blessed, it keeps me motivated. It also comes with a sense of responsibility that if, I'm, if I need, you know, if I'm going to use my voice and my writing and my words, let me do it in the best of ways. And to believe in myself and find the time, SubhanAllah, to do that. And um, there's so many problems in the world, but if you can just do one thing, one child can sing my words. That is enough, SubhanAllah. Every one of us has a journey and the hard times it's SubhanAllah, you know, it's quite surreal. I don't really uh, see it definitely as my own. I love listening. You know, people say, do you listen to your own songs all the time? Sometimes when I'm driving, I like to listen to my own songs because it almost feels like it's not mine. You know, it doesn't feel like it's my song. It, even though I wrote the words and I sang it and I put so much effort, but it just feels like Allah just used me, you know, just to give this message. And uh, I just feel like a vessel, you know. And uh, subhanAllah, so I'm just in awe of, even though I'm probably the least worthy person that Allah has chosen me. Really. Oh man, I think it's got to be mountains. Oh. Mountains of Mecca, without a doubt, it's just, that song has been so good to me. Oh, mountains of Mecca, how did you know? On the day that the beloved returned to his Lord And you know yesterday I was in Tarif And I sang that song And it's probably I sang that song maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 thousand times in my life since I signed I wrote it in 2003 SubhanAllah now it's about 2018 So many many years ago But I love singing that song And uh, I was really inspired when I, when I was in Hajj how can you not be inspired when I was first? So I think that song But of the new songs I like Cotton Candy Sky Allah has given me a cotton candy sky A little bit of blue, pink, purple and white I sometimes see the grey and I sometimes feel the rain But I'll see the colours of the cotton candy sky hey! I, see I think it's positive uh, my mother, I love singing Get Up Again the truth Ça c'est la vie, there's too many to me Ça c'est la vie This is life Like the show, Mr. Oh no, I had no plans. I had no... You know, the thing is, like with myself, Dawood Wansby, Yusuf Islam, there was no industry, there was no market, there was. And we were just. I used to write songs when I was in high school. I used to sing ever since I was five, six years old. I was singing, singing, whatever. I could, you know, I could hear on the radio, I would sing along. So for me, it's, it's not a career, it's just something that I love to do. A friend of mine is in America, Idris Phillips, he told me, he said, Zaini, why do, he's a songwriter, so I said, why do we write songs? So I said, why? He said, because we can't help it. It's just what we do. So I have loads of songs 
that nobody has ever heard. But I, I like to write songs and I like to record them, even if it's just for me. So I, I and, and so because I, I had so little expectation, making that first cassette 25 years ago, everything that has happened has been a bonus for me. So even now, after all this time, and I come in, subhanAllah, there's young kids uh, listen, who listen to a song now, and their parents have listened to some of my songs. I just feel, I'm just in awe of all of it. I just have to pinch myself, actually, most of the time. I say, I can't believe this. I think uh, I do a lot of shows, but I do a lot. Of, I visit a lot of schools. I love visiting schools. I love visiting schools, and I'm in a classroom and there's like 30 kids, and we just we're learning from each other. I love sitting with children because Subhanallah, they just have an honesty and a you know openness to it, and uh, they just they truly amazing. So being in a classroom, I think if I had a choice to do another, you know. Besides the work that I do, I would be a teacher. I would, I'd love to just spend time with children, learn from them, sing for them, and to see a child sing the words of my songs, uh, Subhanallah. I just, it, uh, it just blows my mind every time. Oh, how I grew up in the 80s. So it was all R&B, a lot of hip hop. You know, because I grew up in apartheid, so we listened to a lot of rebellious music. So it was Public Enemy, you know, Run DMC, NWA. But then, and to be honest, when I was growing up, I only used to listen to hip hop. I never sang. I only used to rap, and I used to. So it was, it was because we were so angry. We were young, and the country was changing, and so hip hop was a big part of me. But then, of course, the profanity. After a while, you get old, and you think, well, you can't, you can't do the same that kind of stuff. But a lot of R and B, you know. And then uh, I started writing in high school. So I remember when I was, uh, I was like 16, I took part in a, in a, in a, like a rapping, singing competition at school. It was a very sleazy place, subhanAllah. I was like on stage and, uh, you know, someone actually came to see me and he got stabbed while he was there. And uh, he, still, he still raises it with me every time he sees me. He says, I came to see you when you were 16, subhanAllah. But it was all part of my upbringing. Well, I think the first thing is to, to make yourself believe that you can do it. What's the reason most people don't do things? It's because they don't believe they're good enough. So first, you tell yourself you're good enough. You, people expect that they're going to write Shakespeare or they're going to write, you know, the next, uh, you know, hit song. It just, as long as it comes from your heart, the heart speaks to the heart. So do it because you love it. Purify your intentions. We spoke a lot about intentions these last few days. Purify your intentions. Um, and do it because you love it. Don't, don't do it for anybody else, but just do it because... You know, subhanAllah, I love the songs that I've done. Every one of them. And uh, even if nobody listened to it, I still would love them. It's got to be honest, it's a very personal thing. Like, I share my songs with others, but I love them. I love singing these songs. So even if, like, somebody says, I don't like this song, yeah, it's fine, I still love those songs. So if you purify your intentions and you are free enough to not Judge yourself by the, your Facebook numbers or your YouTube hits. That's not important. As long as you do it for the right reasons, Subhanallah, you are free then. That's when you're truly free. Uh, if you check out uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram, it's Zayn Bika Official. Twitter is at Zayn Bika. Uh, try to find me, support me as much as you can. We've got some amazing videos for kids and for adults as well. And all the songs, the books, everything. Follow us on social media. I would love to hear from you. And Jazakallah uh, Khair for interview. I want to say thank you to SKTV UK. You guys are amazing, subhanAllah, and I hope to see you guys in South Africa soon. Assalamu alaikum.